to my neighbor for you. Uh, you head to my neighbor, as I say about dot com is the best, it's the greatest, it's fantastic and all that, yeah. That's usually because they was investing in the 90s, mid 90s, and they've got a big dot com stock portfolio of domain names, so they've got a shift because every, every new GTLD that's sold means that's a dot com that has not sold because the person decided to go for a new GTLD. So they are biased in that viewpoint. Although that said, um, two dot coms, yeah, you've only got to look at name bio, look at type in the, the pattern, that's it, just type in two dot coms. Well, you, you don't, you type in a certain code, but, and it will show you uh, all the two dot coms. Um, you can't get really, you can't get, you can't get two dot com for, f for about half a million plus, you can't. And um, some have sold for millions, but this is just factual pricing. You won't see this anywhere. You won't see it. You see a red car, red, red, rare sports car sold at auction for millions. You'll see that. You'll see um, an expensive flat sold. You'll see that for millions. Yeah, that's not a problem. People recognise traditional assets. They don't recognise digital li illiquid intangible assets and the prices they're selling for now, like land on the metaverse. Etc. Etc. Domain names, Bitcoin. Uh, but again, a free letter dot com you can't get for less than fifteen thousand credit at the moment. Twenty twenty two, and it can go for six figures, seven figures, whatever, depending on what the uh, free letter dot com if it's branded or not. Uh, four letter dot coms you get fairly cheaply, and five letter dot coms depending on whether it's branded or not, and. Uh, whether the person that's buying it is going to be is a tech giant or a tech entrepreneur that's been venture capital backed and they'll have a bit of money behind them. So if, if the buy if the seller realizes that, the price will go for big money. But most people now, if, if you're if a person starting out buying domain names for investment in 2022, please bear in mind I don't make any money from domain names. None of mine sell, but I see the prices every single day of the ones that do. Right. And I'm self-taught, so I, I go my own separate way in buying domains, right? which is not everyone's cup of tea, but it's mine. Uh, I go down the new GTLDs and first name, uh, first name, dot surname, new GTLDs. Uh, I've been done the emoji domain. I bought the emoji emoji domain names back in the day, and I own, currently own two keyword dot coms in the in the legal sector, in the, the grocery space, tech space. Grocery delivery space. I own a lot of. Uh, I own a three or four, five letter dot com brandables I bought for 10, 15 quid. Anyone can do it. All you do is wait 60 days after you buy it for reg fee, pay back 10 quid. Find two good singular, singular dot com words in a dot com. Wait 60 odd days and see and sell it on an auction or go to the auctions and see what it sells for. It might it might sell for nothing. You may have lost ten quid. Uh, you may have lost and plus go to the auction fee which is about four or five quid. Fifteen quid. You may also it may sell. And you may make a few quid. Uh, if you find that it just find, find, it's not that hard to find now, but a five that's dot com brandable you get for about ten quid, fifteen quid. Wait sixty days, because you've got a sixty day lock. When you buy a new domain name, it's, got, it's locked for 60 days, which means you can't transfer it. Which means if you list it at auction within the 60 days, you can't deliver, you can't transfer that to the buyer within 60 days because you've had it, you've had it less than 60 days. It's got a 60, 60 day transfer lock on it. New domains, right? especially it goes out of it. So you wait the 60 days, then you list it at auction, and then you pay a Commission on the end of it, uh, listing fee. If you go, if you if you list the auction at the CEDO, SEDO, you have to pay an upfront fee of like fifty odd dollars, fifty odd euros, and that to list it. And that's also a way of actually keeping the stock of domains of a good quality, because people have actually got to invest fifty odd euros, forty, or well, fifty odd quid, whatever it is, to actually list it. Which means the domain name's got to be worth listing in the first place to actually pay out that sort of money to list it. Whereas GoDaddy is free. Uh, but this is me just telling you a bit about domain name waffle. But 
Of all of my domains, of my two keywords.coms, my first name, surname, new GTLDs, my five letter brandable.coms, etc., etc., my three, my two keyword, my three keyword GTLDs, which are two keyword plus the extension. Of all my one word GTLDs, with usually two keywords with a dot in the middle, of all my domain names, the things that get the most views, first name, not a surname, new GTLDs, I buy for five quid. Anyone can buy for five quid if you find them in a registrar because no one's even heard they exist. And I've got about 30 of them. But they get views because they're people's first names and surnames. And a person's surname is always better to them than the dot com. Which proves the dot com myth false. Just me waffling about this, right? Yeah. Uh, again, dot com's been about for 40 odd years, dot com website addresses, um, which makes it vintage. Dot com is vintage. The dot com website address is vintage, but no one understands them much, which is why you can't go down your local traditional auction house and say, I've got this dot com website address, can you sell it for sale? Because the traditional auction house will not sell it for sale. Because it's a digital, intangible, illiquid asset. Which means it may sell, it may not. Either way, the person would still have to pay the, the auction fee. You know? That's where we are. Just some more form, yeah. Hope it helps you. Just me waffling to main names. Which I could do all day long. My, it's my passion, to main names. Used to be number plates, you know. I still like to see a good number plate, dateless number plate, or a good number plate word in the UK. But I do like to see. Excuse me, I do, I do like to see a good domain name, and I own quite a few, oh, which makes my situation, I'm making these videos now in 2022, because I know my current situation in 2022, and as I say to my, with most videos about domain names, my budget for a domain name, it's got to be less than 10 quid, 15 quid, that's my budget for a domain name, that's where I am in my situation, even though I own premium two keyword.coms that don't sell so I'm making these videos for me as much as I'm making them for anyone else who wants to learn about domain names hope this helps you and if if this if this is if you own if you own a personalized plate in the UK a personalized plate is only any good for anyone in the UK with a UK vehicle for the UK plate to go on to or someone that wants to keep on retention pay to rent Pay, I think you have to pay with retention fee, I don't think you have to anymore. But .com is global. New GTLDs are global, which means that you can buy a new GTLD for three or four quid, five quid, and sell it to someone at the other side of the world for more than you pay for it. That's the, that's because businesses have a choice. They can either build their brand on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or whatever, which is somebody else's website address effectively or you can build it on your own domain name and you control the data you control everything about the domain name and the other one is um, yeah, well you build it on like an eBay platform but you're governed by your you have to abide by eBay's rules or YouTube's rules or Facebook's rules you buy a domain name you buy it by your own rules don't you that's domain names, and the domain name rent a year is about, if you get a dot com, it's about 15 quid a year, 20 quid a year. Which makes it cheaper than a shop in the ice street, doesn't it? All you need is a UPS account and, G uh, and a uh, DHL account. And if you're selling on eBay, like a GSM or something like that, and it will, you can send stuff anywhere in the world. But you don't need to with a domain name, because a domain name will tra it's digital transfer, which means it doesn't need any postage or packaging. It just transfers for escrow. Not a code, even though it's usable. And that's just me waffling about the main names. I hope this helps you in some way. As I, all my videos, I'm just trying to help people. Me understanding the internet, hoping that you, if it gives you some insight into the internet. I've been internet only. I don't own, I don't own a TV. I haven't watched TV for many, many years. <coughs> Unless I've been around somebody else's house and it's been on whatever. But um, I don't 
watch TV. I'm not. I'm, I wouldn't. I couldn't tell you now. I couldn't do a crossword because it would be like which celebrity. I don't know the names. Of, I don't watch TV. I've been internet only for many, 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 many years, which is why I understand the internet of where we are now and where we go, where the internet's going to. Hope this helps you. Adios. All good fun.